Okay, everyone. Hi. It is time for some more ministry. It's time for more ministry. So you want to take a second and just look at this. I have a couple updates. This is the monthly update about public speaking, returning to Yeshua, Jesus the Christ, building up our teenagers, living for the return of Christ, to get his bride, which means he's not coming in the flesh here on earth again, but he's coming to pick up his bride in the clouds. And when he comes back fully, it will be for judgment. And that will be later on. Um, and in the ministry, July 2015, my focus is all of this. So I want to say a couple things. I'm, gonna, I'm going to definitely work on... Not so much of you seeing me, but there is, um, I, I want to do a little bit uh, change and variation as to uh, like, sort of like a, a broadcasting you'll hear, like as it's a radio station, but it's going to be me speaking. Um, I feel there's a lot that needs to be said at times. I do have some poetry. I also have spoken, written words that through the time of me, uh, of my getting off the fence and being awakened fully by the Heavenly Father, Abba, um, the Most High Yahweh, um, Yahweh has, he has, he has shown me so much about the light. I also learn about the darkness because when you are of the light, you automatically start to see the darkness. You expose it. And during the time of you um, coming to the light of Christ and fully understanding the Holy Spirit, you also, um, in between that time, may go through a lot of different persecution and oppression and affliction with your body, with your mind, with your emotions, understanding the truth. Once you understand the truth, you understand the hidden manna. You get that in the Word. You then can understand the Na uh, Nag Hammadi. You can understand the Book of Enoch. You can understand the Apocrypha. You can understand more. And uh, I do not want to be bored. I am waiting for the Messiah to come get his bride. And I pray daily. So a couple things I wanted to say. So now that you see this, okay, so I'm going to switch this over. I will be talking in the Holy Word for a moment, but I want to switch this over from me. I just want to put something here so you can hear my words rather than seeing me at this moment, okay? Um, and I'm sorry, I don't have all that extra editing, wonderful, wonderful technology with that. I mean, there are some, some different pictures and so forth I can put on here, but I, hearing my voice and understand what I'm saying is, is really important uh, right now. Um, the Heavenly Father is leading me in, in different directions. Now, on the 31st from 7 to 9 p.m., there will be a meeting in Portland, Oregon. We may be walking. I was going to have it at the Portland airport. That has changed. It needs to be outside. It needs to be free. It needs to be where we can feel the Holy Spirit fully, um, not by buildings or, or boxed in, but that we can look up to the heavenly sky and we can see so when I'm speaking about Adam and Eve and the serpent seed and who, where Cain came from and all these different important aspects of who we are and why we're where we're at now and what Christ's bride needs to understand, it will then lead many women that are in, uh, have faith in Christ and those uh, women that are single mothers, single parenting, single women to get strength from this. I'm going back to the basic, the beginning, but it is extremely deep on creation. Creation before we were ever created is predestined to where we need, we're going to be. There's many realms. Um, you know, some do not understand because they're carnal. They do not understand that there is more than just matter. There is more than the physical world. We have a spiritual hope, okay, a scriptural, biblical, prophetic, spiritual hope. And because of that, uh, we, we don't, we're not going to be here. You know why? Because see, a lot, there are a few that have made videos, and I notice this, that say, oh, you don't want to endure uh, for Christ, and so you want to just escape. No, see, we've already been going through tribulation. We've been going through tribulation over 1,500 years. There's been tribulation in the world. It says it in the Holy Word. You cannot escape that. Um, for those who have that will... And, and who are, were chosen to stay here, they can be left behind for that. 
Uh, I choose to leave. My children and I choose to leave. We choose to be of help somewhere else. And the children, it's a humongous, humongous responsibility. So there's a lot of children that will be without their parents, and there will be mothers without their, uh, without uh, the fathers to raise their children, and they will, and there will be. Um, many single women that might be in their a little bit older, um, wonderful, wonderful seasoned women of older age, and they won't uh, maybe have their children with them. And then there will be babies that will need to be taken care of while all this is taking place on earth before Christ returns with the saints to slay the wicked or and take care of the earth, the judgment before the thousand year reign, before all of that, and the new in the new kingdom. So. Uh, this is what I want to make clear. Okay, so um, I will have on my Google Doc, I will have on uh, here, I also will be showing, it will probably be on Friday evening. I'm going to put this address. Actually, I would like to do it right around, right before the time because I do not want, I do not want it to be interrupted. The reason why I say this is the sons of darkness and the wicked Definitely the wicked know how Christ's bride is determined and of the light. And so when I, what I mean by this is sabotaging anything that is to build or help any women in the faith to focus or to get better equipped with Holy Spirit, we don't want to be interrupted. So a few days before, you'll know that date, you'll have that. And if you meet me there along with others that I'm inviting, um, then that'd be great. If you are on Google, I will contact you via email. You know, I pray we're not here. Honestly, I pray that we're that we're gone on that evening. I have prayed for that for a while. Uh, uh, there was a time I thought that we'd be caught up earlier, but I realized there was more that had to happen. Uh, what I was seeing actually were other things that took place. There was an earthquake the day that I thought we were going to be caught up. That was what uh, the Heavenly Father was showing me later. Then there was also at the beach when we were doing um, street witnessing on the 4th of July. And I was talking to the baby saying, Jesus, and letting them know Jesus is, is coming. And he's coming for us. And the angels will get you. And you'll be so, you'll be, you'll be fine. It didn't matter that the parents were holding them. I had to say what I had to say. I was being led to do it. And even with tactfulness and discretion and discernment, we do have to spread the word. We have to spread the word even if uh, it appears that someone doesn't want to hear it. I'm in the grocery store. I talk to children. I just say it out loud. And a lot of times they go, oh, they're, they're wanting to say, they want to say Abba. So never think that an a 8-month-old, a 12-month-old cannot understand. They understand, so we should understand. Uh, and for those who, who do not trust or even believe in Jesus, okay, as the Messiah, you may come. See, contact me. I have prayer on Friday nights from 9 to midnight. Um, but public speaking is something I need to, I need to work on that. I'm, I'm getting out in the fields. I need to be hands-on. It's not that YouTube is bad. It's that I may not be reaching who needs to be reached right now um, as far as teenagers and young adults and, and young children and so forth. So that's what I'm working on. Uh, real quickly, the message I wanted to give you uh, this evening. Okay, so I'm going to say this last message and then I'll, I'll put this down. I'm um, just blocking this. I just, I just want you to hear right now. Um, if you are not aware, there will be a Baphomet sculpture in Oklahoma. I'm not exactly sure of where. I believe it's the downtown city, Oklahoma. Now understand, with this being said on the 25th, which is a Saturday, that's also a Sabbath day. Holy Sabbath, okay, a blessed Sabbath. A rest day. I'm going to suggest nationally, please pray. That, that night before, be in prayer. Be in prayer, be in holy prayer. It says the veil would be released and the Baphomet would be seen. We know this has so much to do with the Egyptian uh, cults. This has to do with um, all of the Illuminati uh, symbolism. We see everything. Now, all that being said, there have been uh, actually statues even closer to where I was before in Vancouver, Washington, appearing like a devil 
um, sculptures. Let's see, there's the Blue Horse, I think, in Colorado. There's a few different things going on. I saw Google where the head was cut off at the Statue of Liberty, and uh, the sun was black. This was about, what, a week and a half ago, I, I believe. There's been so many messages, hidden messages. Understand, the scene has changed. The time has changed. The current is changing. The atmosphere is changing. The environment is changing. The spirit of the negative air is coming about. Satan the devil, understand, many want to know about the Antichrist. I'm going to say this now, so I'm going to release this. Hi, everyone. Okay, so the agenda is, is that many get confused. They want to make one person an Antichrist. Understand that Antichrist spirit is already in the air. Now, you can talk about the president. You can talk about the false prophet. You can talk about the pope. We can talk about... Uh, the situation with uh, the headings. We could talk about all this. Let's get to the basic back about creation first and then go on. Creation. Satan the devil has been Antichrist since the beginning of time before being kicked down to that first or second heaven. Do you understand what I'm saying? They still have to go before the Heavenly Father on certain matters. You may disagree with me. You may not. My, that does not matter at this point. I, I understand what the Holy Spirit has led me to, and I do understand the truth. The truth sets you free. The Word, the Holy Word sets you free. So I'm going to tell you it says it in the Word. You see, at that time... And this is the scripture I have to look up again because I was just studying on this. I have different parts of the word that I study for specific reasons the Heavenly Father is telling me to do. And then when Christ, when I have my wonderful, wonderful, wonderful blessings from Christ where He leads me and tells me something in my dreams or tells me something when I'm sleeping, I understand it. Not everyone has to understand. Not everyone is to know about this. Okay? These are things in my personal life that he leads me to. There's many, many things that I have been led to understand recently, just in the last couple weeks. I wasn't going to comment anymore on videos. I was not going to make particular videos. This is an update. This is also monthly emergency, emergency, excuse me, calling. Prayer. Prayer needs to happen on the 24th of July. I'm going to show you this calendar, and I am not playing. I'm not playing with a single soul that loves Jesus wants to follow him, respects the Heavenly Father, and obeys him. I'm not playing with you. This is an emergency. We need to pray. We should see the 24th. Um, right here, the 24th. I mark it off every single day that passes. I mark it off. Um, there's a few other things I have on here that I understand about ministry and so forth. Jesus is light. Understand he is light. There's archangels for protection. Um, it's not fear, but we need to be in holy prayer right now. This is really, really critical right now for this time, this unveiling of this sadistic, satanic worship. If you are of the light, okay, if you, and you're accepting your position, you're accepting it. It is a position. It's not just a uh, choice to want to do it. It's not. Many will be called, not all will be chosen. It's not just being chosen. It is a duty to do what the Heavenly Father has said. There are many that are angry. Oh, there's so many that are angry at me. I've left so many alone. So many folks. So many loved ones. I have warned. I have done videos. I have done all this. I've done goodbye songs. I have done Christ Bride songs. I have given all this to you. This is now for you to grasp the truth once and for all. So this is not to come down on false prophecies that others have made false prophecies. I'm just giving you information. I'm a messenger at this point with this. I'm a watchman on the wall, as you would say. However, it's of Holy Spirit and much higher of a realm. I cannot tell you my relationship with the Heavenly Father. I can describe to you what I see, what I've been led to understand, and what's been given to me in my sleep. The last... 
last name that I say when I go to sleep, I'm not too exhausted, is Jesus, Messiah, Melech, King of all kings and all lords. Every night, that's what I have to do. And in the morning, when I wake, Jesus, thank you for letting me come to your Heavenly Father through prayer. Thank you, Father, for me being awake, alive, here. It is every day, all day. There is never... I have my moments where I go into the solitude of me as a human. Who I am humanly. Spiritually, of a different realm, understanding where I'm about to go to the, to the best of my ability. My skin has been changing. Meaning, and no, do not do that. Do not... There's somebody, and I know it, who might just say, what does she mean, sh uh, her skin changing? No, we're not talking about sh reptilian. We're not talking about shape-shifting. That's the devil's work, okay? We're not talking about that. We are talking about, which is another part I'll be getting into, uh, Adam and Eve as well, um, when I do the con the actual form, okay? Um, form, I mean, it's open. Everybody's going to be able to speak. They're going to be able to speak their mind, too. See, we're not, we're not, oh, I have to be on the podium and I am me and, no. Because I understand now with Holy Spirit what the Heavenly Father has given me. I'm talking about my skin clearing, a glow that I understand when, see, when you choose to not want to sin and it's tempting and it's hard to deal with and you get a thought in your mind, you have to find that spot here. Here's the witness. And shh, let me write this down. How am I feeling? You have to write letters sometimes to many folks. You have to tell them. I will not do this with you. It's like fornication. I will not fornicate with you. No, you are not evenly yoked. You are not the man of the Most High. You're not Abraham. You're not even Job. You are human. You, yes, you speak of the Word. You speak of Heavenly Father, but you still call him God in the fact that you don't even know some of the names that he understands when you're praying. That he allows you to come into his holiness, his heavenly realm to pray, or the throne. I'm going to stop there. There are some things that should not be mentioned because I have a crown that I need to keep and I'm not giving that away. And the wicked hear. Don't think they don't hear. They hear everything. You might pull yourself away from YouTube for a while. Pull yourself away from uh, the different websites that you have or, or blogging or, or talking on radio or whatever it is. But they know those of the light just like we understand those of the darkness. I will not allow them to take my crown by putting anyone out there that wants to steal and abuse and use that information. So I'm going to say it correctly in the most kindest way that I can. Listen to this sentence. Please pray on the 24th of that evening. Understand the war between good and evil, the spiritual war is in I'm coming to you, it is in action now. And in action. Especially this month, the last two months. Um, okay, we're gonna I'm gonna I'm going to I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Okay. So I might be moving too fast or someone I might be going too slow, I don't know. It's hard for me to find those of like minds that I'm stimulated by spiritually, intellectually, spiritually, and biblically. That's what I'm saying, understanding, discernment. I'm getting a lot of spiritual food, and I appreciate the brothers. I appreciate the sisters. I'm going to say sons and daughters. No longer is the brother, your daughter, your son. Um, and I don't go by the whole Christian, Christianity way. I've said it many times. I'm going to express it Christ-like that I am a Hebrew, I'm an Israelite, I'm of the light, my name is broken up for a reason, it has two different meanings in Hebrew, and then there's the name the Heavenly Father gave me for YouTube, I understand all of this. I want you to understand, 
as slaves, we have been slaves. No slaves now. See, there's no slaves. I'm not a slave to this. I am a complete follower of Jesus Christ. 24-7, I love him. That is my king. I worship his heavenly father. I follow him. There's no fear in that. There's no fear in saying that. There is no fear, neither here on earth, neither when I sleep, I ask for protection. And I'm saying it loud enough so that it goes out to all the different areas of darkness. I follow Christ, and I'm in his bride, and I will be leaving. When, I do not know. So with that being said, welcome, welcome to those who want to get the living water, the living bread. See, you want to understand the joy, the joy of our Father. I'm just going to drink some water. That's another thing, and I've said this in many videos, you need to drink water. You have to get your water, and, and tap water can be crazy. Okay, and I'll tell you, I, when I was in Las Vegas for that night, for that class, I am telling you, I almost didn't think I was going to make it. Excuse the chewing of ice every once in a while I do that. I have to cool down. Sometimes I get so filled with joy, and then there are times where I just know when there's things around me that are not healthy. And spot it, and I need to just free from it. At the same time, you need water now. Tap water. I, I'm telling you, I drink the tap water. Never drink tap water in Las Vegas. Never. I'll tell you, it puts you through something. But you can boil it and then put it into the refrigerator or the freezer. Let it get iced and then put it back into the refrigerator. But if you're gonna drink spring water, we don't know necessarily what they do to all the water. It's possible something could be done to the water. We don't know. We will really never know. We know how it tastes. You start to get a different taste for all water. You can taste the difference between Arrowhead and spring water, distilled water, bad tap water, pretty decent water. You will know the difference with bottled water. Get to know water because Christ Jesus, he drank water and he wants you to understand what water is. And we're talking about not just this water. We're talking about the water, the real water of life. But you also need to experience drinking a lot of water now, here on earth now. So, um, that being said, so I'll be making an announcement about that, but this is, this is, this is serious, I say, with this Baphomet statue, because with all the kind of cosmic things that are going on, with all the things that are going on on the earth, you know, and the heavens, as far as, I shouldn't say the heavens, the sky, stars, and the planets, and the sun, and the moon, and the things that are taking place, what I've experienced here in Oregon, what I've experienced, period. Now, with all that being said, the clouds are coming down lower. You're able to see that. The sun has a different, you know, the sun has like a, it's like a mirror almost. It's like a glaze. It's not like the sun I remember when I was young. Keep that in mind. Uh, brethren, brethren, brethren. John. 14, 15, and 16, please read. Get a chance, please read. Dissect it. Dissect it. So when I find a picture that I can put on here on the webcam, I then will be able to do it as a radio. Uh, basically, I will be speaking. I haven't done the live broadcast, but I, I will be doing some speaking, um, encouraging. And it's actually, so what I found, so I have a, see, this is everything. I've shown you this before. This is where I write my, my songs. Okay, this is um, lots to be said. Needs to be said before I'm gone. Needs to be said. Um, I've done everything that the Heavenly Father has talked to me about um, through Jesus Christ to do um, here on earth. And there's a couple more things. I contacted my father, let him know he was Hebrew. See how the webcam goes dark and then life. Interesting. See, and I know how to, thank you, Father, thank you, thank you for allowing this video to go through. Um, 
it has to be shared with you. See, words and language are important. There's meanings. There's hidden meanings. There's manna in the holy word. There are languages that have so many different meanings. Words, there's so many different variations. Understand, in Enoch calendar, we go by date, not days. And we do not find joy in this world right now. So that I'm going to find, I'm going to allow this creative niche that the Heavenly Father has always given me from, since I was little. Okay? And I'm going to use that skill of joy that I have left, the, the, out of 5% left I have in my, my flesh of body with bones. We still have blood in our body right now. So flesh, bones, marrow, uh, there's minerals that you need, and then there's your electrolytes, there's your blood. All of me right now, in the most human terms, is going to share all this with you. I'm going to finish sharing it all. Whether I get one view or I get 100 views, 200 views, it doesn't matter. Most I've ever seen, I think, is a, well, I had a 600 and it was Nepal. And no one was happy with, with that. Um, there were many that were happy, but many weren't happy with when I said, mm, you cannot just worship anything. So this goes back to the graven images. I, I do want to talk about that, but I will also be sharing all this with you. So if you would like to listen, that's wonderful. Um, ministry. Ministry is of all different ministry. I don't want to yell at anyone. See, there's times where the Holy Spirit does move you. You're out in public and you're, you know, repent. And you're trying to talk to folks that want to same-sex kiss in front of you and hug in front of you and tell you mean things. And you get... You know, please repent, because if not, this is what the, the Holy Word says about hell. I don't want to condemn anyone or convict anyone to hell, but this is what the Word says. Jesus will, Christ will be the final judge. Yeshua, he will. However, it does say, if this is what you do, this is an abomination of this, or this is a desolation of that. Everything is given to you. Many will need to be encouraged that didn't believe, that may believe after we're gone. See, I already have whether college courses or whatever's going on, build, doesn't, I've already saw that I'm leaving. I'm going. And I have to stay strong and keep repenting daily on, on the littlest, tiniest things that you would be amazed at what I uh, decide to pray over or what I feel I have a weak moment in. Um, no fear. We cannot have fear. Whether you're the bride of Christ, whether you are to be here, whether you believe, don't believe, or are atheist, agnostic, uh, whether you are Hindu, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Buddhist, what, whatever we are, okay? I'm saying it like this because there are those out there that have no belief. But I will say this, for those that don't have the belief, understand you will have to believe in Jesus Christ, Jesus the Christ, the, the brightness. Oh, you have to understand. You will have to. You will have to. Uh, everyone will have a judgment day. We will. Good, bad, doesn't matter what we've done. We will have judgment day. I'd rather tell all, my, all, all of it now. Confess it all. I, I confess it all. I want to confess it all. Confess to those, anyone I've ever lied to, whatever I've done, gambled at a poker game, something. It doesn't matter. Whatever it was, whatever I did in my past, present, now, sealed up time. Sealed up. We are sealed up. See how this is like, okay, I can open it like this. I can pull it down a little bit. This is a, this is a dress, my blouse. I seal it. It gets smaller and smaller. Sealed. Sealed. No question. So we check off the pen, check off check off, check off, check off each person we need to speak to, every YouTube channel we need to visit, every comment we need to say, we pray over it, pray over it first, and then we need to do it. We need to check, 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 check off everything. Take some healthy vitamins. If we can. They were selling this, uh, Shackley. Wonderful herbs, vitamins, cleaning products, you name it. But right now, with so much bacteria that's in this world, um, I say I haven't done this for a while, but this, I, I'll tell you, if, if there's anything, I'm going to take. And at that time, look at this, it was a stress relief complex at that time. Let's 
seeds, nuts, pomegranate, cranberries, sunflower seeds. Please hear me. Please, just hear. You don't have to agree. Please hear. This is not someone coming to you to be facetious, excuse, facetious, fictitious, lie, unbeneficial. This is not someone here that's doing that for you because there's no benefit in me doing this. It's what I'm led to do now. It is what he, the Most High wants me to do. I'm doing His business. And then I'm also expressing to you comments. I'm not here to sell you a bottle. I can do that here where I live. I can do it anywhere. I'm not here to sell you a bottle like some folks might sell anything online. Who knows? On YouTube while preaching. No. I'm here to just express this to you. They did wonders for me. Now, since I, I was around this from the age of 19 and on. It's been a couple years. haven't been too into it. But natural products. I'm going to tell you something. Along with water. You, we need seeds. Our people need seeds. Seeds. Eat seeds, 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 seeds. If you can get the little Peruvian or, or Brazilian bananas, leave it's Brazil. In a while, Ecuador. No, I'm sorry, Ecuadorian bananas or tiny. You can get them at New Seasons Whole Foods. Can't afford it. Just get you a bunch and eat a lot of them. I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, Father, between I'm getting excited because I know I know what the Heavenly Father is. I see what he has put in me. I understand who I am so much here on earth and also in Christ's bride to an extent, not fully, but to an extent of needing to nurture the babies and things like that. They're going to need that. Okay, so today is the 22nd of July. Between the 22nd and 24th in the night, you need to be eating these seeds. I just ate some pistachio nut water. Any type of vitamin A right now and vitamin D. Try if you can milk. Not, and I know it's hard to come by. Listen, if you can do it for one week, if you can build your body up for these things that are taking place on earth right now, the environment, understand, you're building your body up. My legs were afflicted. You have to stretch those bones. You have to massage your kneecaps. Use olive oil on your knees. Get a dollar uh, olive oil, soy, so, soy bean. At the dollar store if you have to. Massage your kneecaps. Women, men, please. Women that are seasoned in the faith, that are older than I am and have wisdom. Massage your muscles and your bones. Please trust me on this. I've had time. I've had seven, eight, nine months to sit back and understand the body. And I have went to school and even medical medical school to the degree of what I understand. That was traditional. I was not. It was more. Now, I used to say holistic because at that time I didn't understand holiness, but I understood holistic food, and that was just because that's what I was seeing, you know, the Taekwondo and the Tai Chi and all that stuff, but that's not what I'm expressing. I'm saying to you, in the Word, the Holy Word, there's, there's certain ways to eat. You don't have any money. It doesn't matter. You get you some rice, you freeze that rice for 72 hours, you boil it, you eat it with some honey on it and some cinnamon. Please listen to me. Listen intently to the words I'm describing. Honey, cinnamon, cranberries, seeds, and nuts, cashews, unsalted, sunflower seeds, water, 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 water. Have a running fan if you can. I know there was a while I, I turned off the electricity what, about five days back because electricity. There's some there's some planet shifting. There's some shifting going on. Don't think it's not possible in the air. See the devil's roaring. He's running around like a roaring lion. He even went after Job that way. I understand that. The most high said, Where have you been? I've been a Roaming around the earth, seeing who I can, I can bother, basically. And what did he do? That he did not, he could not. The Most High would not have him, Job, killed. Do you understand? I don't even like to use that word. Death is a whole different realm. Hell, all that. Laying at peace. The Most High to resurrect those. This is a different realm. Everything is a different realm. Different. 
There's different dimensions, understanding different things that are going on. Spirit realm. The heavenly realm. And there's also the beast realm. And there's the horrible realm of the demonic spirits. Just You have to understand this. You must take this truth and understand. You need seeds. You've got to fortify your body. So even if you cannot get out and extra, take a walk if you can. Do this. And stretching. And in the mall, you can walk before it opens. So that's, po that's a possibility, too. Walk down, stretch, stretch, bending over, stretching, stretching your legs, getting your water supply, getting milk. And this is not because I'm a prepper where, hey, my finance, let me explain something. The most high gets us through in this house. We're happy, though. We're rich in the Holy Spirit. We don't care about that. We're rich in the Holy Spirit. It is why I'm saying this is because I pray. I'm going to go to him. Whether I have a dollar, I have ten dollars, I have a hundred dollars, I have five hundred dollars. I'm going to pray. Because it's what he wants me to have, what I need, not what I want. Okay? Understand that. But you're led to understand the scriptures you understand. You're led to understand healthiness for your body. You're led to understand the truth. I'm taking this time out. I'm going to tell you, I do have a lot of things that need to be going on as well. And doing some other things as well. But this is important. This is ministry. This is what has to happen right now. So I hope someone that's here. So... Fruit. So if you can get the little bananas, eat a couple of those. Just need like two. It's so potent. The potassium is in there. It will take you a long way. Our bodies are breaking down. We're at the end of age generation. We're at the end of the generation. Now those who are, are left, okay, those who will be here and who do not believe. I have a great, listen, I have a family that laugh at me. It does not matter. I am so past all of it. It doesn't matter. I see a demon coming at you. I just, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke that. Jesus rebukes it. And I'm covered with the blood of Jesus. Lamb. Understand that you have to, because you can see that stuff a mile away. And people with big black eyes. Things like, there's a lot of zombiness. I've said all these things in my videos. I've expressed all this. Let's get past that. Just understand we're at that time, okay? We are at that time. All right. I had froze my water, so it's... I'm so sorry. Oh, no, my head is not covered tonight. I do have a headband with my hair braided up. I've been really working on that because that's something I have to do right now with my hair. Um, mainly because of my Hebrew roots and then also covering of... A, there's different reasons for covering your head at that particular time when you're praying. And you're praying before others or you're, you're ministering to others, things like that, and then the fine witness of truth of the word. Um, right now I'm informing you. I am I'm also talking to some spiritual, but there's part, partial covered. But understand there's different reasons at those times, sabbat, things like that on Saturdays. So John 15, uh, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Critical, folks. Critical critical brethren. Heavenly Father is holy. We are made in his image, meaning all this man-made church, all this man-made world, all this man-made everything, all the devil's works, all the stuff, all the things that people think they need, they don't need, all the hands of that. Understand that getting back to this Antichrist is an Antichrist spirit period. No matter who you think it is, understand there's always been that between the Catholics making the Islamic churches and all these things and the mosques and all these things that took place. They created that whole time. Understand that all of that is the work in the hands of Satan the devil, who is a serpent and also has been like man, deceiving like man. Understand, because the demonic spirits into man, into man. You see, it's in do, into, demand, on demand, demand, demand. The man taking that and constantly there's procreation of devilish things going on into man that thinks they have smarts and things in this world. And all this that's man-made, all this matrix and everything that's made up here, understand it's controlled by different powers and it's controlled. The Heavenly Father allows all this to happen, just like the wars that are going to take place, the civil wars, the things that are going to take place, World War III possibly is going to happen. All these things that are going to happen, all these prophecies, everything. The Heavenly Father knows. He, and so I, to, to cry won't work. I have already done that, been there, felt that. Now it's time to understand, no fear of knowing I'm leaving. Any day I'm leaving, any moment I'm leaving. But particularly the 25th is going to be 
and I don't know the exact address. I want to find out where that is um, just because I need to understand when I pray that I pray and that when you pray, that you pray in the holiness before the Heavenly Father that you need to be blocked from all of that realm, blocked and secured in, in your space, in your home, when you walk outside. If you are someone who goes to a protest, that's foolishness. If you are somebody going to be around a situation, that's foolishness. Just plain flat out foolishness. Be of the wise virgins, not the foolish ones. You need your oil. Don't share it. You're sharing. You can only share the oil. It's like olive oil, okay? So it's like this. At the, at the very top here, you have a little olive oil. When you open up the bottle, you're going to make bread. Like I baked some cheese bread earlier, and I'm going to be eating soon. And, and there's a little oil. That's the little oil you can share in the ministry. Hey, I'd like to give you some spiritual food. But you can't be just pouring oil out. That's why we're drinking water and our bodies are afflicted and we feel exhausted and everything else is taking place. Now the Antichrist, understand this, the devil, when Jews at that time, we're talking about, okay, there was Gentiles, and we're talking about the Pharisees and the Sadducees, okay, said, oh, we are of Abraham. And Jesus Christ said, no, you are not, you are of the devil, you are of Satan. See, once you read that little scripture, I have to find a scripture, I'm sorry, I was working on this earlier, and I've read so many different passages in so many different areas, and I was reading the Nag Hammadi and everything else and understanding this, so I've skipped around a little bit, but understanding this part right here, there are Canaanites, there are Jebusites, there were Moabites. I mean, we can go on and Ashkelon. There, we can go on and on and on. Point being, if you understand by creation that who the devil's children are, okay, who, the, who Satan's children are, you'll be able to understand what we're not. You understand that the Antichrist can not just possess the man, I mean, sorry, that the father of lies, the devil, Satan, can not just possess the man, but since even back to the Garden of Eden, or even before, things like that, mm, times like that, time frames, time periods, has already infiltrated into the realm of the earth. The Most High didn't fully cast him down yet, fully, but the spirits of the air already apparent. It's already there. So instead of worrying about that particular person, that particular person might be it. Understand, it's a whole spiritual war. It, it's that is an all and void to think and figure out who it is. You just want to get where you're going, which is we need to go be at the wedding feast. Not wait. Ready to be that, that bride. So, um, oh, I want to read. I've been, I've just, this is a heavy time for me, uh, in supplication to, to what I'm understanding. Uh, so let's say this. Let's, let's do this. The work of the Holy Spirit, I'm going to read, no, I'm going to change that, let's, let's not do that. Let's go to John 15, 1 through 8, John 15, 1 through 8, I'm going to talk about the vine and the truth of it. Okay, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine and dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, see, getting better and better, pruning out the bad, allowing the pit, the, the actual pit of the prune, to get worked at, tested, and, and receive, and, and understand, and the gift of truth, and the gift of fruits, and the manna. But you had to go through the ick, the, you know, you, with the prune, you might have to... You know, there's, there's a little bit of brownness. You might need to actually get, when you get to that pit, it's time to stop eating because you've eaten the prune. 
but there might still be a little bit of residue so it's from that old way of living, not the new man, the old way, and then you prune, the father prunes it and prunes it, harvesting and harvesting, and then we bear fruit because we're, we're the fruit of the true vine, the, the vine of the Holy Spirit, the vine and the branch that's going to give off helpful faith and trustworthy and honesty and no matter how hard it is love can hurt because love is truth and some don't want to hear that truth it doesn't mean you have to scream at them but it has to be truth and so it says Jesus Christ you are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you so he is telling you that those that do have the, the, the palm branches in their hands and they've been washed clean They've been washed clean of the sin. They will have have a speck of it. And many will say to us, you know, what are you, where are your works? In my own life, where are your works? My works are not the works that the world sees. That's the worldly church and churches that are lukewarm, the churches don't, that don't get it. There is no fruit in that. The true fruit the true vine, the true cleansing, the trueness of Holy Spirit, the truth of being part of that bride is the washing off that darkness that there is none. So much joy. For abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear the fruit of itself. These folks walk around saying they're God and these folks walk around doing all these things and they're doing so that we don't have to depend on them looking like we're slaves to the world. They are the ones, they are not bearing right fruit. They are bearing nothing because they have not Jesus in their life. They don't have the light. That's why they're dark. Many will say, oh, you're blaspheming. When you say, I love Jesus, they'll say, you're blaspheming. That is somebody who's sinning against the Holy Spirit. All you can do is say, you know what? No. So you're hoping. It's not that they don't believe in Jesus. So they... Okay, there's a difference between believe, not believing in Jesus or God. And sinning against the Holy Spirit is a whole different thing. The Holy Spirit isn't in them because they don't believe. And the belief is Jesus. And if they, don't love, if they don't have love for Jesus or respect or want Him in, in their life, they don't want the temple there. They don't want that cleanliness. They don't want the purity. They try to be pure by their works. That is, that's just... It's on such a desolated place. It's so dry. Their clouds walk around. But there's, no, there's no water in them. Because the water is the purification. The water is what keeps us constantly refreshed. Refreshed. So many that are evil drink the water. And they're looking for something. Because they don't realize... The devil, Satan already knows there's a holy word. He already knows there's a God. He already knows there's a heavenly father. They're deceived because they allow their mind to be cut off from that. And then when the devil allows demons to go into them and mess them up, they get completely absorbed. They don't understand it. So we have to stay to the light, not the darkness. Don't get part of the false light. Because that little tiny light bulb that's up there is nothing. That's to try and go through your pineal gland, okay? and affect your brain. No, allow the Heavenly Father to work on your mind. Now, verse 6 says, If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me and my word abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. You desire to be healthy. You desire to have good, healthy water. Father, can you please provide me... $2.50 to get a 12 case of water. Do you understand the power of prayer? The strength of 10 lions. Do you understand how to ask for that prayer and to ask how, how to ask for that, that prayer to be answered and to also receive strength when you're out here and it's crazy? Now, I'm going to tell you, every, most of these things that are taking place, I'm telling you, you put yourself in that position. I looked at the police that was driving by, and I said, In the name of Jesus, Jesus is the Messiah. They drove past me. It's okay, but they drove past me. Didn't harass me. Understand, you have authority that is in you because you put the Heavenly Father and His Son, the brightness of the light, first. 90% Him. 
10% all your other stuff you have to do. So that's 1% a day. One day you deal with college or one day you deal with reading other material because you just want to be educate yourself on, a, I don't know, a certain plant, maybe like a, an echinacea, or you want to know about the trees and why they, you know, how their limbs are, or you want to know about a squirrel or something. Understand the thing, education like that, or something like you want to understand different dictionary words or different language. Okay, it's 1%, or you want to clean your house, it's another 1%, you take care of your family. That's 2 3%. So understanding not just cleanliness, laundry, cleaning, all those things, but work, it's another 1% if you have to work. Ministering to others, that is part of serving others. So that is not part of fully 90% in the Heavenly Father's eyes and giving uh, and walking behind uh, as Christ did. You are giving that other 2% of the 10% that's left to minister to others. So that's serving. Because you also have to be serving. Not just be served. We serve. We serve. We serve. I serve. We serve. We serve. We serve. No matter what the Heavenly Father may give us, crowns and treasures in heaven, understand, storing up treasures. You have to also, you're still here on earth. You've got to serve that. So it means ministry in your family, too. It means teaching them how to cook, your children how to cook, and teaching them truth, and teaching them righteousness, and teaching them love, and teaching them tenderness, and teaching them respect, and teaching them discipline, and disciplining them with your words from the truth of the Holy Word. All of that. Okay? The 90% you. Prayer. Get up earlier if you have to. Pray. It's constant. It's, it's constant. Now, last one. So by this, my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit. So you will be my disciples. Understand glorified. Glorified body. And glorified. Christ is glorified. Glorified. Whew. A lot was said. Going up on an hour, and I really was like a five-minute message. It just turned out that way. So, I'm sorry, I drew a blank all of a sudden. What I wanted to look up here, um, I believe it's an axe too. So, I'm going to look that up, and we will get to that towards the end of the week. And so I'm just going to give you a brief overview of what I would do. Let's see if I can find something here. Okay, so I'm not sure what I would put in front of the camera, but I'm going to go ahead and say, Sila Shalom, just an agreement of everything, the truth, uh, and the Holy Spirit bears witness of the truth. So uh, I thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful week. I have to get to a few other things, also in some ministry and also some uh, reading and so forth, and a few things online. So. What I will be doing though, so when I do this, and it's going to probably be a two to four day broadcast, five day broadcast maybe, I don't think a whole week, seven days, but maybe, you know, I'm really looking to leave, so every day is just up in the air. It's that family, other family members, they left. You have to, you have to leave everyone, everything, every, all, all, everything for Christ's name's sake, period. That's the truth. So, I'll give you an example of what I'll be doing like when we do this. Um, it'll still be recorded, but it, it will be myself speaking and, and sharing all these different good things with you. So, I'm going to share actually one information. But because, see, when I was, back then when I was on the fence, I would write these, these messages or these songs or these things. And I also had something I was doing, The Joy of Heart, Us Equal Three, with my children. It was going to be... It wasn't a, a, it was non-profit, but it was nothing to do with any kind of 501c3 or 2 or 1 or anything like that, all that devilish market of these kind of stuff. And believe me, that will change for many. They will have to make a choice because the government doesn't want them saying certain things and doesn't want them teaching about certain things, and they will have to decide that. You know, so that was never a choice to ever take any of that. Um, it was like this, you know, it was... Um, senior reading, special gifts, where I was going to be reading it to them, and those are things I like to do too. Did a little bit of that. I worked in a nursing home I worked in, um, assisted living. I've done many different things, janitorial, hotel work, um, cleaning, and doing the marble floors. It's hard on your knees, but you do it. So you're serving. You, uh, I've done customer service. I've done public speaking. I've done a lot of different, various things. This is the Heavenly Father. This is what I am. This is who I am. This is, I'm from tribe of Judah. This is who I am. This is what I do. 
no fear. But this is what, what's happening in times. We're here. This is what it is. I'm ready to go. Until I go, until the Heavenly Father has sent Christ to come get myself and everyone else who's leaving, we're just going to keep talking. So I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to share this with you. That's something I was starting back then that wasn't fully complete. I had business cards and so forth. But I realized those business cards are just an avenue to what the ministry was supposed to be. Nothing about actual working on that. The work was either um, sharing the vitamins um, with, with that company that I was working with um, and for that time or um, doing gift baskets. So this is something I was just doing. So I'm going to just put this up on the camera. And, and so this is what you'll be seeing when I do the, the little um, form online. Okay. It's an example of it. Okay. So thank you for tuning in. It'll just be a couple minutes long. You have a wonderful night. Thank you. And remember what I said about prayer and that, that statue. We, we have to pray over what may, may all come this way. Keep strong in faith. Thank you for tuning in. If you need prayer, you know how to find me. You know my number. You know how to find that. You know how to find all the information you need. And uh, sisters, and brothers, oh, sisters, brethren, and sisters, we're going to make it. Keep having that faith and take care of those babies, all right? Much love and joy. That being said, Sila, Shalom. Alrighty. It says here, this is what I wrote. Nothing says we understand better than to take the time to nurture one's free time with your favorite book, Reading Time. Seniors, this month, and this was back in July of 2011, I wrote, we want to bring you lasting well-being by celebrating your independence to receive your personal gift basket with an hour of reading one hour of whichever type reading material you would like me to read to you. Now, this was then. Now, now, you know, because some assisted living facilities might not want you doing that, but my, my advice is you can do an email. You can send out a newsletter. You can just say, oh, I'd like to, you know, if I can volunteer to read. Um, you have a food handler's card um, for anything that they have a problem with or you have a, a, a slight business license. And, and even not with that, you're just, you're just reading. So in this case, I wasn't going for a business license. that I was then, but not now. I just want to read and give gifts because many seniors may not get the, the word of Jesus, right? The truth that sets them free. So um, we can just tie, we can read to them, encourage them, give them a gift basket of um, cards that we've made up, you know, with maybe um, some um, bananas, there you go, or some, um, just a, a few holy words, if you can give a holy word out, you know. Um, New King James or King James Version or, you know, whatever holy word you're reading and um, explain to them something or write, you know, a few of the scriptures like Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk or, you know, that they've not usually been reading, you know, tell them Jesus is king, you can stand at the bus stop, you can talk. There's many things we can do. So um, I just said here, have a wonderful day and remember, just call to order your hour book. And that hour book was a little booklet I was making, um, or to book your hour, excuse me. Um, and so that's something I'm working on too, and I'm sharing it because I don't have a reason to keep it to myself. These are the last moments. We really need our last, sec last really last couple moments here to, to be well, to be living out um, our dreams, I should say, the things you really want to do for the most high. So if you love to read... Read to others the Holy Word. If you love to sing, sing His songs. Sing to Him. All praises to Him. Sing to others. If you love, you know, dancing, um, you don't have to dance, but you can draw um, beautiful scriptures, you know, with melodies around it, with music, like your A, B, your, your flat, your D minor, anything, you know, your C flat, tenor, if you're a soprano. There's so many things we can do. Find the creative joy to be kind to others, okay? It's time to serve <sighs> and give them a personal gift, okay? A gift of truth and love. All right, so for this uh, monthly edition, I'm going to say this is our monthly uh, uh, moment in time here to, to speak, and I will be back with you again uh, not too long, shortly. So with that being said, shalom, everyone.